The William F. Bryan Community Health Center grew out of a movement it was the conditions of the 60s at that time. President Lyndon Johnson had declared a war on poverty. Martin Luther King initiated his Poor People's Campaign. The poor, the working class, and people of color demanded basic human rights. When Congressman William F. Ryan stated that healthcare is a right, not a privilege, he channeled the spirit of the times and faithfully represented his constituents in the Upper West Side of Manhattan, back then a very poor neighborhood. He fought for the funding that enabled the community to establish a federally qualified health center. For the first time, people who had not been able to afford a primary care physician did not have to wait in an emergency room for treatment. Even throughout New York City's severe economic crisis in the 70s, Ryan's board was dedicated to maintaining community access to centralized medical, dental, mental health, and vision care. In 1988, Ryan was asked to take over operations for a health center that was struggling. Today, Ryan Nina is a thriving health center serving over 10,000 patients on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. As a network, we see almost 50,000 patients each year. Many of these patients have never received primary care services. We remain unique in our deep ties with our community. Most importantly, our compassion for our patients drives us to excel. HIV services have always been included in the Ryan Center's mission since the epidemic began in the 80s. Today we have a comprehensive prevention program that is aligned with Governor Cuomo's blueprint to end the epidemic by 2020. Our team works after hours in locations throughout the city to achieve this goal. This is the first year that New York has seen a decline in the number of new HIV diagnoses. I can truly tell everyone at the Ryan Center saved my life. After finding out I was HIV positive, I went through um, a deep depression. I was really weak, but I, I managed to walk over here and it was this lady and she was just walking by and she looked at me, come here, come here. I just fell in her arms and she just held me and she said, you will not die on my watch. And we both cried. They took care of me. There was a whole team of people at the Ryan Center that supported me. Now, I'm a peer educator giving back to the community and telling everyone that hope is alive. And her name is Victory. Ryan Chelsea Clinton is in Hell's Kitchen. Despite gentrification, we still serve many newcomers to New York City. Our staff helps overcome language and cultural barriers and assists entire families to navigate the health system and manage their care needs. Today, quality is a major focus for healthcare. It's not just about how many people we care for, but about measurably improving the health of our patients. We're spending more time educating patients so they can better manage their own health. We have dedicated diabetes educators who instruct their patients how to control their diabetes. Our teams monitor medication, track patient appointments, and coordinate exams. Poverty deeply affects children in particular. Over a third of New York City's homeless population are children. We want to make sure that families that are dealing with a lot of personal hardships aren't discouraged from getting their children the care that they need. I'm a working parent, so I like being able to schedule appointments in the evening. My son also has special needs. I've been a patient of Dr. Hassan since before my oldest daughter was born. She also sees my twins. Beyond the medical care I've obtained at Ryan, they've connected me with other services that have helped improve my family's quality of life. It makes taking care of my family's health care easy. New York is a place that experiences constant change. And Ryan's approach to care is highly responsive to changes. For 50 years, we have evolved with the industry. And for the next 50 years, Ryan will always remember its history, be responsive to our patient needs, and remain at the forefront of medical advances. Everyone deserves the best healthcare services available, and that's what we deliver. We stand by our mission statement. Healthcare is a right, not a privilege.